Hi, this is John Susco from MyPeakLife.com, and these are the top 10 frequently asked questions on how to quit smoking. Question 2. Does nicotine replacement therapy really work? When smokers try to quit using nicotine replacement therapy, or NRT, such as nicotine patches, sprays, lozenges, or gums, the success rate only approaches 14% in the absolute best cases. Now looked at the right way, that means NRT fails in 86% or more of all cases ever recorded. And these figures come from the companies that make millions selling those gums and patches. Think what life would be like if your car failed over 8.6 times out of every times you tried to drive it. That's ridiculous. Yet, with multi-million dollar advertising budgets, these chemical and pharmaceutical companies pump out millions of doses of nicotine replacement therapy every year. And, with the huge incentives paid to MDs for writing these prescriptions, it's no wonder the public perceptions have been so skewed. Talk to any smoker who's tried to quit using the patch or gum, and maybe you're one of them. Ask yourself a question. Did you still want a cigarette even though you were wearing the patch? Almost everyone I've treated who tried them says yes. Why would you still want to smoke when you were getting up to four times the amount of nicotine you could possibly get from a cigarette? The answer is because, plain and simple, smoking is a habit, not an addiction. Pure drug replacement therapy is never used with success in a medical setting. Using a nicotine replacement patch or gum nicotine delivery system as a way to stop smoking would be like telling a heroin addict, hey, instead of injecting the heroin in your right arm, what we're going to do is inject the same drug into your left arm. Now that'll fix you. Of course, that doesn't make any sense. And what about all the reported side effects? Like nausea, dizziness, headache, cold and flu-like symptoms, heart palpitations, gastrointestinal disturbances, and vivid dreams. Other side effects reported included chest pain, blood pressure changes, anxiety, irritability, impaired concentration, and abnormal hunger. And with the NRT sprays, nasal irritation, nosebleeds, watering eyes, ear sensations, with NRT gum, and lozenges and inhalers and tablets, mouth ulcers, sometimes with swelling of the tongue, and throat irritation, plus all the common symptoms of nicotine overdose. The American Heart Association believes that nicotine transdermal patches and other nicotine substitution drug products, such as the nicotine gum, can help smokers quit when used as a part of a comprehensive smoking cessation program. There are public safety issues concerning the patches, including indications, contraindications, warnings and precautions, and issues such as effectiveness, potential abuse, and overzealous advertising and marketing practices in wide use. Bottom line, nicotine replacement therapy fails in 86% or more of all cases, and the potential health damaging side effects are enough reason to seek a better alternative to quit smoking. Hey, if you like this video, I've got 20 more where that came from. Just go to mypeaklife.com forward slash smoking info. That's M Y P E A K L I F E dot com forward slash smoking info. Register and I'll send you 20 more videos. Thanks.